How to Generate PNPKI Digital Certificate for Teachers So this is how I fill up the forms online regarding PNPKI um, Digital Certificate For those teachers who will serve this coming election under SDO Makati, type lamang po ncr2.lms.deped.gov.ph And then mag appear po ito um, Click lamang po DepEd Commons Teachers And then continue with Google account. Click lamang po kung ano yung DepEd account na ginamit nyo para makapasok sa LMS. Sa iba naman na hindi makapasok sa DepEd LMS kaagad ng SDO Makati, yung iba yan, nag-redirect nag dito and then click NCR and then click NCR to Makati City. Next naman, uh, mag appear po ito and then click Site Home. Yan. And then, click Professional Development. Under this one, uh, scroll down nyo lamang po sa bandang ibaba. May mababasa kayo na Facility for the Submission of the Application Requirement. Ayan. For first-time users, you need to enter Enrollment Key na manggagaling sa inyong ICT Coordinator. And then, click Enroll Me. So, Facility for the Submission of the Application Requirement for the PNPKI Digital Certificate of DepEd Personnel. So, makikita niyo po yan. Scroll down niyo lamang po sa ibaba. Hanapin niyo lamang po ang Download PNPKI Form. So, pag-click niyo po yan, automatic, download siya. And then, afterwards, open niyo lamang po yan. Wait niyo lamang po matapos and then open file. So, you have to fill up the forms correctly, black letters only, so capital letters po lahat. And given na po itong check mark sa itas. Under Organization, Department of Education, SDO Makati, and Organizational Unit, yung school po ninyo plus yung school ID. Make sure lamang po na don't leave blank spaces. Lagyan po natin ng NA if wala po kayong name extension. Double check all the other information and make sure na properly filled up. And then save. In order to add your photo and your e-signature, kailangan nyo pong i-download itong PDF Escape or pwede naman Adobe Acrobat Reader. Ang i-upload po kasi natin ay kailangan na ka-PDF file. I-open po natin using your PDF Escape or your Adobe Acrobat Reader. Click lamang po ito to add photo and then browse. Kapag ang i-add nyo po na photo ay nakasave sa desktop, usually nag -e error importing image, unsupported image format. So, pwede nyo pong gawin, right-click nyo lamang po yung picture and then open with paint. Click lamang po, resize, lagyan nyo ng 25 pixels. Then, click file, save as, click pictures. Sa picture nyo po siya ilalagay. And then, file name, itype nyo po. Then, kailangan nakasave as sa file format na JPEG. Then, click save. Ayan. So, pwede nyo na ulit i-click yung add photos and then browse. And then, click nyo lamang po yung photo ninyo na i-add. Ayan. So, click open. So, automatic mapupunta na siya dyan. And then, sa bandang iba ba, click lamang po ito to add e-signature. Dapat din po nakasave na sa pictures ang inyong e-signature para madali na siya i-browse. Click open. Ayan. And then, automatic ma-insert na siya doon sa inyong e-signature portion. The same with this one, another e-signature. And repeat the same steps you did earlier. Ayan. So, double check all the other information. Make sure na wala po kayong um, na-leave na space. Kailangan lagyan po ng NA yung mga spaces na not applicable po sa inyo. Now, you can click Save As. Ayan. Much better po sa desktop natin i-save. And then, i-rename nyo rin po. Mas maganda kung unahin nyo pong ilagay yung apelido nyo and then first name para mas mapadali ang checking and validation. Going back to the facility for the submission of the application, scroll down nyo lamang po sa bandang ibaba. And makikita nyo po, under activities, you have PNPKI questionnaires. You have to answer all the information up to template 16. 
make sure na wala pong uh, malalaktawan na template. Make sure na ang information na i-fill up po natin dito ay the same with the information sa una nating na-fill up na form kanina. Kasi i-validate po iyan. So, dapat magkatugma kung ano yung isinagot nyo dun sa nauna na form. And then, next page, i-click nyo lamang po. Pagkatapos po ay, you're going to proceed to the next page. Click lamang po. And you have to answer until... Template number 16, deped.gov.ph yung email na kailangan natin gamitin. Ayan, so double check po natin. Up to number 16, kailangan nasagutan natin lahat in order to proceed to the next one. So nakalagay dyan, submit all and finish. Then, ito na po yung makikita nyo yung mag appear Next is, after answering the questionnaires, you can upload the PNPKI form here. Click Add Submission button below and then drag and drop or pwede ring upload the completed form. So, click Save Changes pagkatapos. Ayan. So, ako, ito po yung kinlik ko to upload the file and then choose File. Hanapin nyo lamang po yung file na sinave nyo kanina sa desktop. Ayan. So, pag na-open nyo na po yan, Click Upload This File. So, yan po ang mag appear And then, finally, Save Changes. That's it. Ito po yung makikita nyo sa last part. May makikita kayong Submitted for Grading kasi gagradean pa po ng ating ICT Coordinator and to be approved by our Division ICT Personnel. Makikita nyo po dito sa bandang ibaba, download certificate of completion, mag-highlights po yan. Kapag na-approve na siya, it means ready to download and print. Makikita nyo naman po dito under SDO Makati, ayan, naka-indicate po ang ating progress. So, as of now, for me, meron na akong 50% progress. Waiting na lamang po for uh, checking and approval. Ayan. So, kapag naging 100% na po yan, uh, pwede nyo na po i-download ang inyong certificate. Usually, it takes 24 hours for the approval. After waiting, tcharan! Meron na po tayong certificate of completion.